Hello, viewers, and welcome to my next Let's Play, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Now, my best friend has been wanting me to play this game for a long time now, um, but I never got around to it until now, um, and I don't know anything about this game at all. Like, literally, I know nothing about it. I don't know the plot. I don't know the gameplay. I don't know jack shit i'm assuming you're a detective because of the tagline phantom detective i don't know or maybe you're not the phantom detective and someone else is i don't know all right button icon settings uh this this is literally my first time booting up the game like this is my first time seeing the screen even so select the button icon to display button icon setting okay so let's uh Can I... I'm going to try to hook up my remote, because it looks like they want me to use a remote instead of a keyboard and mouse. So I'll go ahead and try that. I don't know how successful I'll be with that. I don't know if Steam is even, like... Wow, so remotes do work on Steam. PS, PS, PS remote. I always thought it was an Xbox remote that you needed. Okay. Um... So let's use that one, because those are PS4 buttons, right? Why would I make X cancel when X can be confirmed? You can check the controls from the options screen. Very nice. Selecting details while connected to the network lets you view the privacy policy. Why did I click that? I don't want this. No save data, create new save data. Yes. This game uses autosaves. Okay. That's a cool autosave icon. It's like a clock. Ghost Trick! Phantom Detective. The D is in red for some reason. Um, I'm not going to look at the extras. I'm just going to go right into the new game. Okay, so I think this originally released in 2010, it looks like, down there. Um, but this was just released on Steam for the first time this year. And that's what I'm playing on. I'm assuming this will be the definitive version. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. Okay. No prologue, just diving right into it. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. Who are you? When I came to, there was a woman standing there, a woman I don't know, at least I don't think I know her. She definitely looks like the type of person you'd remember. And then there was a man with a gun! I don't know him either, well probably not anyway. Is he gonna shoot her? Oh my god! Now I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. You don't want to get shot. Oh. I'm already dead myself. Oh my god! What development? That's a very embarrassing way to die, by the way. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? But you're talking. How are you doing that? Are you a phantom? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this... You intervene. This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. Oh, you want me to do it? Or was someone speaking to him just now? What, what the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head. Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. Yes, yeah, so it was a voice speaking to him. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Saver? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. It's glowing! Do you see that blue flame? That is your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm, just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. What? Look, the best way to understand is just to try it. First of all, try moving your soul with the D-pad. Oh, hey! Next, move your soul across to connect with the core. 
Okay, I just did it. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. Oh! Uh, so what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Ahem. Now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What, do I just smack the gun out of his hand? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Uh, hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. Heh <laughs> heh. You'll see. You'll see. Oh my god. Now then, time will start to flow again. Ah! Yeah, fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, but, okay, fuck, she didn't get very far. I would've taken the gun from him, lady. Well played. Oh, uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work, a ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that object with the power of the dead, a ghost trick. All you have to do to perform a trick like that is press X. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, we're back in the same position. Yes. Hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. Can I do it again? So I entered the ghost world with ghost, possessed an object, and then performed a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Uh, but there's two to choose from. I'll, I'll do the guitar, because, like, maybe I can make it fall on them. I see a guitar. Then is that... Then is... I'm sorry. I see a guitar, then, is it? Ahem. Hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball. That would have solved the problem real quick, I bet. It's too far. I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Yeah! Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I thought it was going to fall on him. Uh, that's gotta be some of the slowest running way I've ever seen. Thanks for speaking my mind there. Looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Oh, but I'm so far now! My body! No time to get picky, I've got a woman to save! I like your attitude, it's admirable truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Go ahead and try X. Nothing happened. No! Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. No! Corpses, even if they aren't really alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've gotta be kidding! Wait, what about that woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? <laughs> I'm in a video game? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Use the arrows to move it in any direction you want. Okay, cool. Yep. What's going on over here? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future? <laughs> oh, my god. She's dead. Oh, uh, okay, wow, she's super dead. I really thought I was gonna save her. But he just said he has bad eyesight. Maybe he, like, missed. I don't know. Why is he blue? Out of my way! Don't kick me! No! Dick! Am I down here? He's gonna kick me again? No, I fell even further. That phone is green. It's done. I'm on my way. I kind of look alive there. That's kind of freaky. He tipped his fedora at me. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? Just as I was thinking this. The Pixar lamp came to life. Oh my god. Hello there, how are you feeling? It's okay, wow. I'm, a lamp is speaking to me. 
Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ah, ignore me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Oh, hey! Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. Jesus. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. I don't see any blood. Of course, I didn't have blood on me either, so... She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. Look, I time travel. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. How? Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, you'll have to possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. I can resurrect the dead. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on its invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave a woman lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Fair enough. Trick time. Uh, well, what happens if I hit triangle? That thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts, what you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices, and what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm sorry to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And L1 is your ticket in. The best thing to do is to try it. L1, eh? I guess I'll press it. Okay, wow. Oh, there's like a few things I can go into. Oh, and I like connect the dots! By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Folding cot. I can unfold it. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, Circle is your ticket out of the ghost world. Oh, good luck. We're counting on you. Uh, who's this we? Alright. Back into the ghost world. Oh, that, that got me close enough to him. Cool. Oh, that's funny. What is? What? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. Uh, what? Hers is like more blue, I guess. Oh, and her soul looks yellow instead of blue. There's something emanating from my corpse. Oh, and there's that too. <laughs> That's because you're special. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one. Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Can I bring back the dead? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? I already did that. Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Uh, yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? Ho well, hopefully I bring her back to life. Okay, Ghost World, connect her. Whoa, that was different looking. Whoa, what's happening? What is this? Is that her spirit? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. 
Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the dust lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past. I knew it, time travel. To time four minutes before that person's death. Hell yeah. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. Uh-oh. And she's still well within that time limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. Oh, but this is crazy. None of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Why did I say minute instead of second? That's weird. I still don't know what the, you're talking about. Heh <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Rewind time. Yeah, I guess I have no choice. I want to be a good person after all. Four minutes before her death. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Whoa. Yeah, look, 701 again. Oh, it's even further back than, like, where we started. I guess that makes sense. Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. She reminds me of Frankie from fucking Foster Home for Imaginary Friends. This guy has like a golden shotgun, by the way. It's pretty awesome. Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? He said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temzik left in this country. What the fuck is Temzik? Temzik? What in the world is that? I if you say it backwards, it says Kismet. Beats me. Just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. Oh god, I'm gonna drop a wrecking ball on him. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Why did he say that? That's such a weird fucking thing for him to say. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. I thought he was going to shoot himself for a second there. So long, sister. Oof. Hold it. Oh, everything's playing out like I did last time. Who's there? So everything I did is, like, set in time. A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me Nearsighted Jigo, but I've never let my prey get away. He really does have bad vision. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? <laughs> Why is she talking with the... It's so funny. Well, sister, that is it. This is it. Oh, he's just gonna ignore the question? Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Uh, hello? Uh, useless? You didn't do anything this time, buddy. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. Uh, but she still died, because he didn't do anything! Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Oh, can I just touch out again? Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you'd like to. Oh, hell yeah! Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Cool, so I got unlimited chances. How weird. 
So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway to the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. I'm gonna have to get up to the, the action. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better hurry and get there as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? Oh fuck, it's beginning. It's beginning! I don't have time for this! Oh no! Time is passing. Okay, cool. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. I guess that's gonna be like my uh, time tracker. The hourglass. Sand at the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Okay! Can you like position yourself so I can get a better reach at things? Up you go then. Thank you! Okay. Uh... I can roll it. Oh hell yeah, dude! Nice! I can open the fridge too! I don't know how this helps. No! No, it's happening! What is Temzik? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, time's running out. I know. Oh, I have to close the fridge. Yeah. Okay. Eh. 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 Okay, turning the fan on will surely do something, right? Pull that tarp over. Nice. Oh, but I want to be in it. Okay, turn off. Can I... Can I turn on and then quickly move over? I can. Okay, cool, but time has to go. Blow me up! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what did that do, though? No! Okay, okay, good. I caught it before it went away. Oh, it ate the, the rope, so it hoisted the flag. That's so funny. Just a few more stats. I hope I make it in time. I, I can't tell if it's a real time limit or if it's, like, scripted. I'm gonna bike now. Okay, shit's happening. If I'm in a bike now, I can, like, do something. Now's your chance to change your fate! How? There's not much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds? Oh my god. Uh, pedal. Thought bubble. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Time is almost up. You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Ah, uh, time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. Uh, I'd better possess something fast. Okay! Ring? Well, it's pedaling now, so maybe I can... turn the handle and... Oh! This guy's jumpy. Damn it, what's going on here? Near side of Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point-blank range. That's why it's a shotgun. That's really funny. Looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. Yeah, but not for much longer. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Well, I got more time, at least. Dude, she's so clumsy! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The bridge is up! I'll lower it for you. I'm gonna have to pedal toward her. You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. But there isn't much time left. Depending on what you do, there's still the possibility of failure. That lever will move the wrecking ball over to where he is now, and then maybe I can drop it on him. I don't want to think about failure now. No, of course not, but still. If you ever feel like you want to start over... Just tap R1 before the time runs out. Although, you never know. 
You might learn a thing or two when time runs out, too. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I'd better go after those two. Uh, okay, so let's use this. Yeah, it's doing what I thought it would. Okay. Okay, I'm lucky you didn't look up. You hear something? Okay, uh... The hard part's gonna be getting up to the fucking thing. I guess I can extend the ladder. Pop him in the head! Oh no, it's in the background. Okay, that would've been funny though. Oh my god! First of all, what is this? A street light? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. Die. Oh, he's so dead. That's insane. He's like dead dead. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna kill her too for a second. That was really scary. <laughs> he's, just, he's just flat on the back of the ball. It's so funny. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger's gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. I thought he was nearsighted, Jago. You use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did, and I knew you could do it. They averted, yay! Oh, that's, that's great. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. Maybe someone can, like, go back and save yours. It hasn't been a day yet. I don't know. When I came back to the present, it was raining. She's getting soaked. I had saved the life of the stranger, now staying forlornly, forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. She's gonna get cold. A stranger. That word strikes a chord. And a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. He doesn't remember anything about his life. So maybe it's not a stranger. Maybe uh, Obviously, he like knew that woman. Right? Because they were together. When, when he was killed. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? For business, apparently. Your story isn't over yet. Ah, uh, who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. Oh my god, is it because he casts a ray of light? Oh, uh, it'd be funny if he's the one casting the spotlights down on people. That, uh, because that's been happening. As in, ray of light in the darkness, heh <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I don't remember it. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. W what? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead... Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves... Wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. So you're another dead guy? I kind of assumed Ray was like, uh... Like a... a, a I want to say angel, but like a spirit that kind of exists to, to help ghosts. You know what I mean? Maybe he's a ghost too, though. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. Well, why don't we save each other, Ray? You can save mine, and I can save yours. 
I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? Ray, help me! You can do it! In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... You won't be able to rest in peace, right? No, I won't. Very well, I understand how you feel. If you want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. She's fucking traumatized. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. How am I going to communicate with her, though? Can I beam my thoughts into the living? What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? Some kind of dump. That one probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. Why do you know so much? The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough, when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some of, some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press L2 to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out every now and then. Memories aren't always the most reliable things, after all. Updated the phone book. They call it the phone book? Alright then, I wish you good luck. Trick time. Well, let me look at this. Hey, we've got like a, a list of characters. Me, the mystery. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memories and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is a red-headed woman who witnessed that death. Red-headed target. Is that a badge on her chest? What is that? A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman, and I saved her with my powers of the dead. Then there's Ray of Light. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the father of the dead. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman and me, but he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. <laughs> and then we've got location. Junkyard. The place where I lost my life. It appears to be a junkyard in the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me about the powers of a red-headed woman who might have informed me about my death. <coughs> who might have information about my death. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. I did see that auto-saved. Uh, but this game is interesting. Oh, look at him dancing. Look at Ray dancing. Yeah. Oh, but I'm excited to play more of this. This is, uh, this is interesting. For sure. Um, I don't know how long this game is, but I'll play it for as long as it takes, I guess. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.